Make sure everything is on. Here we go. Welcome to Goner. I am actually... I've been actually really excited to play this game. I just never got around to it. Which makes me a bit sad. But now I'm here. Now I'm getting to play it. Is this it? I'm wondering if anything else happens. Okay. Alright. There is the whale. Oh, oh, can form one extra platform. There's a whale following me. Hello. Oh, whale like that. I need to do more of that. I need to please the whale. Yes, yes. Whale is pleased. Smile for me, whale. So they are buddies. That is pretty much the purpose then, I think. What, what was that? What? Okay, my other buttons don't do anything. It makes my little blob question its life. I don't know, is this like Majora's Mask? Is this bad? Might be like Majora's Mask and I become evil. I got life! That's bad. Didn't I have a face before? Right, level three. Uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> no, thank you. Press jump. Okay. Oh, oh. And some Mega Man X. Those look like bullets. Oh, they are. How do I reload it? <laughs> a little crouch. I like that. Ha! Ha! Wait. So those are the numbers of baddies I have to destroy, I'm guessing. What was that? A bomb. Press use. Oh, that reloads it. Okay. That's not a bomb. It's a reload. Interesting. Okay, so there is a limit to that. Not a limit, it's just... Uh, I don't know if I like that. Going, <laughs> being eaten. Oh! Interesting. Okay. Huh. Oh. Interesting. So you don't die. You just lose your your. Go oh, he's a, he's a big guy. You lose your um, mask and get away from me. Get get away from me. It looks like a combo, yeah. That's definitely a combo meter. If I've ever seen one. What? And I'm a... Okay. Yeah, that's what I was... This game's very abstract. And... Oh. They wanted me to die? Hello. Okay. Press use. Is this not a store? Is this just a thing that happens? Okay, so I'm, am I back to the, the level I was at? Okay, so he always, when he's on the wall, he's always, he always shoots the other way. Good to know. So I can do that five times. I can lose my mask five times. That's what I'm gathering from the... From the meter. 
we have here? Oh, hello, you look friendly. What's up? He did look like a porcupine, so he is. Oh, I can jump on guys. So, okay, so is that what happens? I get the, I get a stone whenever I get the combo meter filled. Two of them. Ah, oh, they didn't let me go back. Interesting, interesting. Uh, weird snake thing that eats me. Can you move a little bit over? Yeah, try try YouTube. Try checking YouTube out. Um, I've been having trouble with Twitch. Give me my things back. Uh, yeah, I've been having a little bit of trouble with Twitch. that you can't shoot in other directions. You're so aggressive. Oh no. Uh oh. That's it. <laughs> okay, so there. It's happening on both. Was that the continue? Yeah. Um It seems to be a problem with my connection and I I can't really do anything with that. So feel that this might end up being just a more of a recorded game than yeah, it's probably not with you. I've... Internet here, not the fastest. Gets to a certain point, point of the night where it just slows down a bit. Not every night, but... I guess tonight is being one of those nights. So... Yeah. No, yeah, I definitely think it's... It's something to do with my internet connection. Here. I don't like these guys. They're just slightly above. What are you? Oh? Yeah, so I, I think this is just gonna... It might get better, but I can't control that. I have zero control over how that that's going to react. Yeah, yeah. No, it's good. Mm, just a heads up though. It is... So this is starting it over from the beginning. I'm not progressing. I'm very curious. So this is kind of like a Spelunky or a... This is a roguelike, in a way.
Thank you. Does make my life easier. Where you- it's permadeath. Because you start over. And it seems to be score-based, from what I can tell. Score-based and combo-based. Yeah, I I really do like going cold in cold into the into the indie play games because I it's it's the mentality of like I want some of the play and sometimes you know, like what's cool there and what's the first impression not something that someone that actually took their time to learn what the game is about uh, learn the story the control so like. There's it's no, no excuses playthrough. Like I'm playing what I get, and that's what I know. A okay, slug. Really like the art style. That was the the thing that really got my attention originally to this game. Not getting those guys. Oh, get away. <sighs> so I'm guessing I need that number of runes to maybe revive. Is it death? What's this? Hello, death. What's up? Oh, I'm controlling death. I'm gonna grab this. Ah! I don't... I don't know what... It's a weird game. Is this some, a different gun? So I, I'm guessing, yeah, the, these are... The more... The farther I go, the different things I get. Yeah, the benefit of killing these is getting the Come on. Going. It's to get a revive. That's my guess. Reach it! Come on. A good thing they drop it. That's that would have definitely been a huge oversight. What? No. Feels so vulnerable. Oh yeah, I can, I can jump on them. Forget that. It's the only thing I can do. Ah ha ah, ah. ha! I'm not good. This is a. It's a decently tough game. Ah! Not what I wanted to do. As you could probably guess by the fact that I didn't get the rune. Okay, we're getting that rune. Doesn't matter what anyone says. Doesn't matter what Aunt Joanne says about my looks, my dreams. I'm getting it. Well, I already did. All right? What's down here? Nothing. Thank you. Yeah, walk away, demon. Uh, 
that little guy. Okay, so they do stop chasing after a while. My incredible score of eight. Wait, do I have everything? I do. Alright. Up. Oh. What? Hmm. Yeah, so filling the meter does get get me more runes. So you do want to accumulate combos. Yeah. No. Thought I saw another rune back here. Yes, not. Definitely thought there was a, another rune there. Got a. I want to go into the proper one. I want to... Oh, it's a different head. Okay. I'll stick with it. It's a game that does feel good when you when you get No Stop it Stop it you Yeah I wanna get the flying guy. I'm on my last life. Yeah. I think that should be enough runes to maybe revive me. Oh, this is a store, so I made it out of a level. That's for three. Three. What's this? No clue what that is. Oh! Interesting. So, the, that's a secondary ability. It just happened to be... Whoa. It just happened to be that my secondary ability at that point was... Um, what's it called? It just happened to me that my secondary ability at that point was the pick it up. Let me pick it up. Uh, ammo bag. So it's not always. That's why enemies also drop ammo. It's not always that you get. So I get to keep on keeping. Yeah, because I I had full. Yeah, it used up my runes. What? That, yeah. I don't have enough runes. And that's the end of the game. Okay, I get it. I get it now. Yeah, I think I'm gonna end this one short because this is pretty much what you're gonna get in the game. I don't think I'm gonna end up getting farther. In the game, then much farther than I currently getting. I have a hard time with games like this. 
I'm very much more of a guy that enjoys like games that have set levels, set uh, progression, than ones that just restart at and have ran random levels like this. So for me, it's more I enjoy more of a puzzle-like challenge. So like you be at a same level that you do over and over and over, but you learn the pattern, you go over it. Um. I do enjoy these sometimes, but it's just usually not my cup of tea. But that being said, this one feels very solid. Game wise, gameplay wise, uh, it feels great. Art style, I love it. Mechanics wise, it's very simple, but very effective at having variation. Like from the little that I played, it, it's clear that there are different masks. There are when you go to death, you see all the things, right? And there's a good amount of variation there for a game of this type. I'm not getting, I'm getting out. I'm going to death again, just to, to the death to see everything that I have. Loop. Can we get music? Death. Death. Grab this one. Thank you. So I have three lives with this one. Oh, oh, oh. That one I have five. I, I wonder what the difference is and why this one gives me less lives. So this is a shotgun. This is a shotty. This is the usual. Yeah, it's very much, it's very much roguelike. I think Binding of Isaac, uh, rogue legacy? Not, actually not rogue legacy, because Binding of Isaac has more of the items that you... What does this special look like? Okay. But yeah, so this is the game, very good, uh, very enjoyable, but again, personally, not my, not my cup of tea. I wonder if, oh, it does put me out there with this setup. Interesting. Interesting. Very interesting. That's a wrinkle into how these usually work. Just going through like this. I like this gun. Who doesn't like shotguns? Usually, I don't. Oh, how much power. So that gives me a heart. Do you have to be. Yeah, it is very much like a, a roguelike. You have to be conscious of what you're doing, both life-wise to conserve yourself and ammo-wise. Some of them yeah, are very frugal about that, about your ammo usage. This one seems to be of that kind, that variation of roguelike. Did I get everything back? Come on. Need more ammo. But it seems, even though I've died a lot, just like knowing that they have those heart pits like that, it's forgiving. It is a decently forgiving game. Which... That's not usually something you say about a roguelike. Forgot that when I'm leaning it automatically. Come down, little bullet. I need you. And it uses all the very classic types of enemies. 
Yeah, my my biggest problem with rogue ah. Get out of here, little devil. Um, with roguelikes and um, procedurally gener generated games, I don't honestly I don't know if this one is, but uh, my problem with that is that there is obviously because they can't do any like that's just the nature of the game. It's level design is a little bit less thoughtful. And that's one thing that I really appreciate. Um, like, level design to me is one of the... big, kind of like, tent poles of... Oh, I'm gonna die. But I'm not saying that... Again, I'm not saying that every game needs to have that. I, enjoy, I really like Binding of Isaac. That does not have set level design. Right, so uh, it's very okay. Like it's on occasion. This game does not need that. I'm just stating my preference. That's usually what I go for. I have enough. Yes. Do do. do. we go. I like the shoddy. I really like the shoddy. And, um... As you can notice, as you are probably noticing, I am continuing to play this. I am actually really enjoying it. The more I play it, it's just, it's... Oh no. No, Rods, no. Why? There we go. Um, it's actually slower paced, a little bit slower paced. And it does have levels. There... We did get to see those... Oh, no. Those different intros for different levels, so... I guess they're... But it's very much, again... I hate that I'm comparing it to one game. But I... I but Binding of Isaac actually, actually gives a lot of good examples that are comparable to this game. Um, I'm thinking that the levels are pretty much like in the Binding of Isaac. Um style based wise so like you know if you've never played it it has levels that take place in the basement another that takes place in the cave so it is still procedurally generated but within that style with those tiles with those types of rooms um and i'm guessing that that's what this is I got to the got to the end of it. I want anything? No, I do not want anything. Actually, I want the ammo bag. I eh, no no, I don't need it. I've been doing actually pretty fine without the ammo bag because feel that when I need it. Oh, did I go back? I did. Okay, this is this is the time for this. Ah! Don't kill me. Ah! Oh. No! <laughs> uh, alright. That's it for me. That is it for me. I, I like this game. It's very simplistic. Uh, very minimalist, I guess, is the word. I love the art style. I love the... I just like it. The, very, the skulls, the... It's 
still wonder what the difference is with the skulls. I'm sorry, Death. Let's cook it. Thank you. So this one pushes. I think it ha might have to do with my constitution. We'll see. No, it has nothing to do with it. Broke the music. Can I make death angry enough to like... Apparently not. Death doesn't care <laughs> that I'm shooting it. Try with this. Death, I'm gonna shoot you! This special weapon. Yeah, I don't know what the helmets do. It just seems to give me less life. It makes me smaller when I'm like... Yeah, I don't know why I, I would pick the other one. Maybe it gives me more points. I guess. Anyway. So, this is Goner. Um, a... Permadeath. Not really permadeath. Since it gives you a chance, but a most of the time start from scratch <laughs> dungeon traversing um, platformy game. What a great description, Ron. You're really selling it. I don't have to sell it, I just have to play it and see if I think it's good or not. And I do. I do think this is a solid game. Anyway, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you like the game, go check it out. Um, if you're watching the recorded stream, if you're watching it on YouTube later, uh, there will be links to this game in the description. So, keep an eye out for that. But otherwise, if you just search for Gunner on... Sorry, Goner on Google. Like, it, it is the first thing that shows up. G-O-N-N-E-R. Yeah. Just gonna wait till my next death. Here I know. Yeah, it... It's got a little bit of its hooks in me. It, uh... I thought I was done before, but I... Keep playing. It's enjoyable. It's a it's an enjoyable game. Ah, I didn't have to spike up. All right, one short from the revival. Cool. Exit to menu. Yeah, so that's that's gone. Daily challenge. So yeah, it very much is. What's this? Okay. What are you? These look like tiny bombs. They are. Oh, and it hurts me. Good to know. Oh, that thing hurts me. Okay. Alright, yeah. I'm done. Thank you for watching. And we get to see a... Zero. Look at that. <laughs> Alright, I'm the 13th, no, not many people have been playing this. Yeah, I'll see you later.